Greetings, game heads, and welcome to another episode of Eli the Game Guy with me, your host, Eli Williams, here in Dragon Quest XI on PC. And pick it up where we left off last week, just doing a recap. We came back here with the team uh, with Serena to Arborea. We were trying to find Veronica, and we found Veronica, and Veronica's gone. But Serena has absorbed all of Veronica's power. So now Serena is this super healer mage person, uh, and I'm excited to get her into battle, but we're supposed to go back to the inn, and Serena is supposed to be here, uh, waiting for us, so let's find, I don't see Serena, but maybe we are just, uh, meant to get a room and sleep, okay, oh, here we go. Okay, now it's morning. Oh, there's Serena. Okay. Good morning, or should I say good afternoon? The sun's already high in the sky. And she cut her hair off, too, which is really weird. Father Benedictus dropped by earlier. He says he has something to show us at the top of the mountain. Everyone else has gone on ahead, but I thought I'd wait for you. Oh. Shall we go and join them? There's a little door to the right of the cathedral. The path is through there. A little door to the right of the cathedral. Okay. This door here? Okay, this must be it. Okay. Oh, well, this is the top of the mountain. Oh, here we are, everybody. Ah, there you are. So glad you could finally join us. Idrisil blessed me with another vision in the night. I saw Veronica standing upon this very ledge. It is known as Luminary's Landing. When Erdwin descended from the heavens after facing the Dark One, this is where he alighted. And this is the Calamus Flute. In my dream, Veronica played upon it. It once belonged to the great sage, Serenica. She left it in Arborea on her final visit, the day after the Dark One finally fell. I gave it to Veronica as a memento of her heroic ancestor. And yet, when I awoke this morning, there it was upon my pillow. Okay. It is a sign. The flute will reveal the path you must tread. Serena, my child, if you would be so kind. Of course. Must be doing it wrong. But if Veronica was playing it in Father Benedictus's vision, it must be the key. Can you try, perhaps? The flute is a pretty hard <sighs> instrument. Whoa, okay. Flute can be a very difficult instrument to play. That looks like a fishing pole. What the? A fishing rod? I fear it is I who am seeing visions. Um. You got a bite! Oh, go on, darling! Reel it in! Oh, shut up, Silvando. What? 
is happening. Is this the... Oh my goodness. Is this the thing that we're going to fly around in? Am I going to get flight? Oh, this must be it. And a whale is not a fish, it's a mammal. So it was as I suspected. It was upon her back that you rode in my dream. The sacred conveyance of the luminary. Yep. Cetacea. This is it. We've got flight. Oh, we're going to be able to go so many places now. You must play it whenever you require her aid. Oh, yeah. We got the flute. And seek out the floating island. It is the world tree's will. Whatever awaits you there will surely aid you in the fight against the Lord of Shadows. Do not let Veronica's sacrifice be in vain. Now, play. Um, he's not playing. I don't hear. Uh oh. We're beaming up. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. Okay, so now we're going to have to learn how to steer this thing. Okay. Oh, there. That looks like a floating island. Whoa. That looks like a floating island right there. I'm, I'm guessing this is it. I'm not sure. The battleground. Okay. So, this is not it. Um, this must be, I bet this is where we end up to fight Lord Mortigan. All right, so we're looking for a floating island. Man, there's a lot of stuff up here. What's that? Land at the Laguna de... Oh, no. No. Okay, so there is... What is that thing? Big ball in the sky. I don't know what that is. Okay, so there is another... There's that thing over there, but there's that thing over there. Let's see what this is. This looks like... This is like a floating island. What's this place all about? Oh, this must be the place. This is a cutscene. Uh, oh, that's strange. So there really is an island in the sky, just as Father Benedictus said. 
I wonder if he was right about there being something helpful here, too. Well, he's been right so far, so I, I would of some sort? say that this is the place. Well, there must be some reason we were brought here. Shall we go and find out what it is? Eh, <laughs> question marks. Mm, let's do a quick inspection outside here, because this looks like the perfect place for there to be, like, chests and stuff. Oh, there's a sparkly. Colorful co cocoon. I don't see anything. I guess it's just that one little sparkly. All right, in we go. We can see you, you know. Come out from behind there. Oh. Huh? Okay. What is it? Yikes. I'm of the Watchers. The Watchers? And what are they? Of course. Ground dwellers not to know. Not to know of us. We watch over Erdria. Watch for as long as Erdria exists. Well, what do you know? And what are you doing skulking behind a pillar, Mr. Watcher? This is home. Home of all of us. Once were many islands. Many watchers. But attack came. Lord of Shadows. All crashed. Only this island remains. Only me. Okay. That's awful. Mordigan got to you guys too, huh? Sounds like you've been through a lot. Sorry if I was out of line just now. How come you survived anyway? And why did this place get left alone? Guiding light burns within. Has burned since time began. Was in Temple of Dawn. Here. Was cleaning. Attack came. Was protected by guiding light. Okay. This guiding light of yours sounds pretty special. looking for a special something to help us defeat the Lord of Shadows. Do you think the Guiding Light might be it? Hmm. Not to know. Is not weapon. Cannot defeat. Perhaps. Wish to help. But I'm only a child. Know little of world yet. Guess we'll just have to take a look for ourselves then, huh? Yes. But what are we going to do about our poor little friend here? I gotta say, I gotta say something here. This thing's creepy. <laughs> really creepy. Okay, Temple of Dawn. So... Wow. Okay. Oh, it's beautiful. And so... holy. I feel... purer just looking at it. Whoa! Did all 
that light just get squished down into that little thing? Oh, we've got the guiding light. Okay. Another grainy cutscene and sepia. You all saw that too, right? Okay, I'm... Yes, that man, the mark on his hand. Oh, you don't think... <gasps> uh, aye, I do. And I have a feeling you've the same instinct, laddie, eh? That was Erdwin, the luminary of legend. I never thought I'd see him with my own eyes. So those were the original heroes? The ones who defeated the Dark One way back when? The more we know about them, the more chance we have of finding out how they beat him, right? Hmm. Ah, you're not wrong. Let's see what those other seedlings have to show us, shall we? I gotta go to each one. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, we've been there. Did you see the size of that hammer? Was it just me or did it seem special somehow? Mm -hmm. It was no weapon, that much is certain. A forging hammer, if I'm not mistaken. But what were they forging? I wonder. Well, I think we all know where they were at least, don't we? Let's see if the last seedling makes things any clearer. Okay. Yep, they're forging something. I know that view. I'm sure of it. So if I understand what we saw correctly, they found some ore and a hammer, then went up a mountain and forged a sword. <gasps> Wait, of course. The Sword of Light. Indeed. They would not have gone into battle with the Dark One unarmed. Yes, that's the power we need. That's how we'll drive the darkness from the world. But Mordigan took it, right? Unless... Are these visions trying to say we need to... Yeah, that must be it. We need to make our own sword of light, just like the old heroes did. <laughs> All right, we've got ourselves a plan. Not much of a plan, but we'll just have to fill in the gaps as we go. 
Let's start by paying a visit to the places we saw in those visions. I'm betting we'll find some more clues there. Aye. It looked like they found that ore on another one of these floating islands. I reckon we'll need to have a word with our wee pal about that. And that was Galopolis in the vision where they had the hammer, right? Maybe the Sultan knows something. <gasps> oh, and I remember now. That mountain, it's the volcano near Hotto, isn't it? How could I forget? That sounds like we're going on a wee world tour then. Hotto, Galopolis, and uh, wherever that other island happens to be. It seems we're setting off on another adventure, Veronica. You'll be with us in spirit. I know it. All right, let's go to work. I miss Veronica. <clears throat> I miss her snarkiness. Okay, well. So we should go talk to Creepy Guy. That's where we were. Okay. All right. Well, we know where that's at. Battleground? Why would anyone go looking for ore on a battleground? Mine was there. Mine of great ores. Great powers fought for ores. Great battle occurred. Great losses. Great pain. Victors took all. No ore. No more. Perhaps. Wow, his speech is cryptic. Tale of centuries ago. Perhaps tale false. Perhaps all remain. Perhaps. Perhaps. Well, it can't be hard to go and have a look now, can it? Come on, you lot. Thing. All right. Well, we will leave it right there and pick it up next week. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Or smash that bell so you can get information on all the good things coming out of the Digitally Rebastard Network. You guys have a great week and a great day. I'll see you next time. And until then... I hope you get the high score. Take care. Greetings, game heads. The Digitally Rebastard Network and I would like to thank you for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and curse smash that bell so you can get information on all the good things coming out of the Digitally Rebastard Network. You've been watching Eli the Game Guy with me, your host, Eli Williams. Be sure to tune in next time, and until then, I hope you get the high score. This has been a DRN production.